Hello and welcome to Love My Poland and welcome to my backyard. Today I have fired up the grill and we're going to take a look at a few ways barbecuing or grilling out differs in Poland from my American perspective. Now, before I begin, I have to state, I have to emphasize that cooking out is a huge deal here in Poland. They adore this form of recreation. It's like a national pastime. And the official grilling season here starts each year on May Day or May the 1st during the long May weekend. So let's compare the way our countries approach cooking out today. And I don't want to speak for all Americans. We are a huge country, but I'm basing this really on the way that I grew up in Houston, Texas, 18 years and comparing it that way. With that being said, let's get right to it. We have to start first of all with Polska kielbasa, Polish sausage. There is so much to say here about sausage that I really don't know where to start. Grilling out in Poland brings such a wide array of meat options from which to choose. First of all, grilling out in my America always meant hamburgers, hot dogs, steaks sometimes, barbecue chicken drowned in barbecue sauce, and in Texas, your occasional smoked brisket. However, when you're in Poland, you can always, always count on good sausages on the grill. And if you're an American watching right now and you go to a big store in America like Kroger, you're usually going to find one vacuum packed option with the name Polska Kielbasa from Hillshire Farms. And if you've ever had genuine Polish sausage, you know that this kind of sausage tastes nothing like the real Polish sausage. But the variety of sausages you can buy in local shops here will make you dizzy. If you ask a Polish person, a friend, to pick up some sausage for the grill, they may respond with something like this. Well, what kind of sausage exactly, Russell? There are so many different kinds. Do you want kielbasa śląska, kielbasa wiejska? Maybe you want kielbasa turunska or kielbasa poznańska. Maybe kielbasa swojska or perhaps you want biała kielbasa. <laughs> My head was spinning. I was like, give me something good. I don't care. Now, if you ask me, I like to keep it simple. My personal favorite is easy. It is kielbasa śląska. I've got three right here all tied together, the old fashioned style. You can always depend on kielbasa śląska. I could also go with a kielbasa wiejska. Both really scrumptious sausages. Oh, and a mistake I'd like to warn everyone about. Don't do this. Never ever under any circumstance even be tempted to do it. Do not take parówki. Don't take these Oscar Mayer style hot dog wieners and ask to put them on a grill in Poland. You can get killed for doing that here. They will kick you out. This is not sausage. This doesn't work. I cannot remember how many church functions, how many church barbecues I went to where the kids, they would just throw on those kind of Oscar Mayer style hot dog sausages and throw them right in the bun. It was great for us. We didn't complain, but that just doesn't happen here. I have yet to see that. Number two, I love how you cut and season your sausage. This point was probably the most eye-opening for me. When you grab sausage to put it on the grill, you'll really face three different styles. The first style is just throwing it on the grill and cooking it as is. And there are two types of cuts. There is kind of a straight line cut down the middle going, depending on how you look at it, vertically. And there's an X cut, like a crisscross cut. I'm a big fan of those X cuts because when they cook, those X's open up and they allow you to add in this delicious przeprawa do grilla, this grill seasoning. They come in these really great little grill sachets like this. You take it out with your fingertips. You just take a pinch and you put it in the cracks of the sausage and it is just amazing. It is so delicious. Big thumbs up for these little sachets of grill seasoning. Number three, in Poland, it's not only about sausage. When you go to the popular supermarkets like Olshan, Carrefour, Lidl, or Biedronka, you're going to be amazed at the choice of pre-seasoned, pre-marinated meats that are available right out of the package. Just take out the meat, throw them right over the flames. You can go that route, of course, or you can buy your meat raw and just add your own seasoning, obviously. However, I'm going to start now with a grill favorite that I wasn't that keen on at first. It is called kashanka, which is a blood pudding or a blood sausage. Now, if you've ever tried blood sausage, maybe in the UK in any form, you are close to knowing what it's like to eat this. I've bought this kashanka today right here in town at my local butcher. It's nice and fresh. I'd like to cut it open, open it up and show you what it consists of. What's inside? Let's do that. It is essentially lots of pork blood mixed with buckwheat, seasoned with salt and pepper, garlic, marjoram. What else is there? All spice. It sometimes includes pieces of liver. I don't like that. So this one doesn't. Everything is then encased in the intestinal tubes of a pig tied off on both sides and thrown onto the grill. Sometimes very often people wrap it 
also in aluminum foil to keep the juices in there. If your chef cooks it just right, you should like kashanka. It's not that bad. Moving on to our next meat, we cannot forget to mention karkufka. Now, I'm kind of struggling with the best English translation for this one. I know in some regions of the US, like Chicago, it's called karkufka, but I've often seen it referred to as Boston butt or pork butt. And if you're wondering why it's called pork butt, it has nothing to do with that part of the pig. It's named after the barrel the meat went into during production. They called those barrels butts. Interesting. But as I was saying, if you've got a Polish friend that can prepare a good karkówka, you are going to be in food heaven. As they say in Polish, niebo w gębie, or heaven in your mouth. Another popular grill meat is flame broiled thick cut pieces of bacon. I love that. You can buy it seasoned or raw. And you also have another option, these long pieces of uh, bacon that are kind of twirled around a stick. It's kind of bacon on a stick. You put them right onto the grill just like so. And after a while, it cooks up, it burns a little bit. It is so yummy, so delicious. You have to try that. Poles also love a good shashwik or shish kebab. You can make them yourself at home. That's fun to do. Or you can buy them pre-packaged just like this. Just take the shish kebab on the stick, throw them like I did with my sausage right on the grill and add your marinade. You, uh, you kind of baste it with a marinade sauce from time to time and that is a delicious way also. Poles are also masters of cooking fish on the grill, especially trout. Some of the best trout I've ever eaten come straight off the backyard grill right here in Poland. And there are so many great spots also, little restaurants where you can go and order them in different towns. And of course, they haven't missed it. They have the seasoning for that as well. Przeprawa do ryb, which is really good. Number four on the list, let's talk a little bit about charcoal. Now I have to admit it, I might make myself look a little ignorant here, but it wasn't until I moved to Poland years ago that I had ever heard of lump charcoal, which really looks like charred tree branches and pieces of tree just stuffed into a bag. I cannot tell you how many grill parties I've been to where the host used this form of charcoal. Back in America, I mostly used charcoal briquettes. And when I think back to my barbecuing days, everyone used that briquette type if they weren't using gas. And in America, it was really two main brands. You had, I think, Royal Oak and Kingsford Charcoal, those kinds. However, in most stores here in Poland, you've got bags of lump charcoal, usually right next to bags of the briquettes. And you can choose the one that kind of works best for you, and it really doesn't matter. Some people say it tastes better on one kind of charcoal than the other. For me, it's all the same. But here in Poland, you'll see lump charcoal together with the briquettes. And the only downside, I think, to the lump charcoal is that it seems to burn out a little bit faster than the briquettes. And just by the way, any Americans watching right now, have you heard of lump charcoal? Is lump charcoal available in all of our stores? The last time I was back home, Alabama, Tennessee, I didn't see it. Just didn't see it. But maybe it's a regional thing. Number five, last point. If you have made it this far in the video, you are probably thinking one of two things. One, I'm starving and I need to barbecue right now. Or two, what is with this Russell guy? He gets way too excited about normal everyday things in Poland. Guilty. Regardless of what you think though, I just have to show you what a final product looks like when it comes to the Polish sausage. Your sausage should be a little bit burnt. It should be topped off with fresh chives. So onion stalk cut up and put on top of it. It's a must. You should see the seasoning right there. You should have three condiments, your ketchup, your mustard, and your delicious. I have to talk about kshan, horseradish. Polish horseradish is just out of this world. I don't know what you do to make this so good, but this one, I really like the one that has shmiatana, cream with it, a little creaminess. You have that sharp flavor of the Polish horseradish and it goes down easy. I love that. And very important, you cannot eat sausage without the bread. I have yet to meet a Polish person who doesn't eat bread together with his barbecue grill. So the bread has to be there. This is the finished product. That's awesome. Oh, there, I'm forgetting one very important thing as well. A good Polish barbecue has to have alcohol. I have never attended a Polish barbecue that didn't serve alcohol. And I have to introduce you to my favorite beer. Take it out of the ice here. This is Johannes. It's made by the beer company called Amber. I love this beer, especially when I go to the Polish seaside. It is a must at my grill party. This is my number one favorite beer in the whole world. It's perfect with the barbecue grill. In closing, if you've never been to Poland or experienced a Polish barbecue, you have to make sure you get yourself invited to one and just sit back and savor the delicious flavors. Thank you for watching today. If you have not become a subscriber yet, you are missing out. Hit the subscribe button right here on my barbecue grill and be notified of future videos. I'm off now to chow down on this delicious food that is cooking. The smell is right in my nose right now. I can't wait. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and see you in the next episode.